Well, hello, I'm Josh and I'm back once again with another classic Christmas film to tell you about. And among old movie fans, this one is a favorite to watch around the holidays. I'm talking about Peter Godfrey's 1945 classic, Christmas in Connecticut. Christmas in Connecticut follows famed food writer Elizabeth Lane, who despite living in New York City, writes her column as if she is working all day on her farm, cooking these wonderful meals for her husband and kids. Somewhat like a Martha Stewart type nowadays. But in reality, she can cook, isn't married, and has never even been on a farm. She borrows recipes from her friend Felix, unbeknownst to her publisher, but when that publisher decides to have a war hero stay at her farm for Christmas, she must go to extravagant lengths to keep up this ruse. So as you can see, this is a much more traditional Christmas film than We're No Angels in my previous video, and it's really one of the quintessential classic Hollywood Christmas films. It has a hilarious script, a fantastic cast, and a beautiful wintry setting in this cozy Connecticut home. And since the film came out in 1945, it has a lot of very direct references to World War II. And so in addition to it being considered a classic Christmas film, it also feels like a historical snapshot of post-war America. For instance, Felix the Cook is supposed to be an immigrant from Hungary who is still learning the language, and though never directly stated, it can be easily inferred that he likely came to the United States because of the war in Europe, as the actor S.C. Sakal had actually left Hungary himself only a few years prior for those very reasons. But now let's talk about this film's fantastic cast, and it is just packed with some real classic Hollywood actors. The star, Barbara Stanwyck, had just come off doing the classic film noir double indemnity for Billy Wilder, so this is quite a change of pace from that film, but she does a great job here and this has since become one of her most popular films. Dennis Morgan also gives a memorable performance as the war hero Jefferson Jones, and though this is probably the film he's best remembered for, he was in a ton of musicals back in the day for Warner Brothers, and he even gets to sing a couple of songs in this film as well. And this film also features the great Sidney Greenstreet, who you'd probably recognize from classics like The Maltese Falcon and Casablanca. And I guess you could say that he also plays the antagonist here, though he is an unwitting one as the humorously overpowering owner of the smart housekeeping magazine. After all, he is the reason that Dennis Morgan is coming to stay at Stanwyck's home in the first place, and since he doesn't know her secret, he invites himself as well, fully expecting to have a home-cooked Christmas dinner waiting for him when he arrives. So even though he is the reason for the story's conflict, I do like that we get to see Green Street's more kind and jovial side. And Green Street isn't the only Casablanca alumni in this film, as I mentioned earlier, S.C. Sakal is another classic character actor who also appeared in hits like Yankee Doodle Dandy as well as Ball of Fire with Barbara Stanwyck. And he really brings most of the humor to this film with all of his funny sayings and mannerisms. And as the real cook behind Elizabeth Lane's articles, he of course is brought along to the farm with everyone else. Reginald Gardiner plays an important part in the film as well as John Sloan the architect who loves Stanwyck's Elizabeth Lane, and the one who brings them to his farm in Connecticut to begin with. Hoping to marry her when they get there, he helps Lane with her ruse, though is disconcerted when he sees her begin to fall in love with the soldier. And classic movie fans will certainly notice some other familiar faces as well, such as Dick Elliott, Una O'Connor, and Joyce Compton. And upon the film's release in August of 1945, I know, go figure that one out. But the film was a pretty big hit when it came out, and it even got a remake in the early 1990s with Diane Cannon and Chris Christopherson starring and none other than Arnold Schwarzenegger directing. Yes, that's right, the Terminator himself directed the remake. And though that film was nowhere near as popular as the original, with a lineup like that, it still makes for an interesting curiosity to check out. So if you like to watch Christmas in Connecticut, it's available to rent or buy from all the usual sites online, and it's currently streaming on Max as well. 
And if you want to get the film physically, it's available pretty easily on DVD or Blu-ray like I have here. And the Blu-ray is pretty solid. I've been using clips from it throughout this video so you can see what it looks like. But one of the notable things about it is it also includes some bonus features as well, including the original trailer and most notably a short film called Star in the Night, which is sort of a modernized retelling of the nativity story set in the West from the perspective of a cranky motel owner and apparently won the Oscar for Best Short Subject that year, but what really makes it notable is that it was the first film of director Don Siegel, who went on to make classics such as Dirty Harry and Invasion of the Body Snatchers. And the cinematographer on this film was a young Robert Burks, who went on to shoot some classic Hitchcock films like Rear Window and Vertigo. And though I would have liked it if they had done some more restoration on the film as it was clearly just brought over from the DVD, I'm glad they still decided to include it on the disc as it makes for a really nice quick watch around the holidays. And so now for my comment question, I'm wondering what is a favorite kind of cozy Christmas film that you like to watch every year? I mean, Christmas in Connecticut with its wintry setting and that nice warm cabin that feels like it just came right out of the catalog certainly fits the bill pretty well, but I'm wondering what are some of your favorites? Write them down in the comment section below and start discussing. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and subscribe if you want to see some more of these. Remember to keep watching movies and I will see you again soon in the new year. And if you're watching this on the day, have a Merry Christmas. Wishing that I may, I'm wishing that I might have the wish that I wish tonight. I've told my lucky star the wish that I made, and every time so far she's come to my aid.